Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Today I've got a really cool thing that I learned at the Great Western FMTV Roundup, and I'm gonna show it to you. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Stay tuned. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna grab up this, um, hmm. Rob Anderson dropped off a tow bar out here for Bill Sands. He had an extra one and Bill bought it. So he dropped it off here and I'm gonna teach you something before I give it to Bill. What in the? <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> okay, first lesson that I'm gonna teach you is that a two man carry minimum. <laughs> two man carry. Good Lord. That thing is deceptively heavy. Whew, okay. Right, I need to show you something up close. Okay, right here. All right, you'll notice this has a lip to it right here, right? Like a molding kind of problem or something. And this one is completely smooth. Now, what's up with this? Okay, so this is what you want. This is what's going to prevent the the tow bar from actually hooking on, okay? So you have to grind this down. And it could be different on your truck. Mine just happens to be on the driver's side. It's been known to happen on the passenger side as well. So whichever side it is, you gotta grind that down in order for this to fit, okay? Just this face. Those of these bolts have like a little cutout here, and that's just a design so it doesn't spin. Okay. Locked into place. And then also this one. Okay, so it doesn't spin. Okay, now that the hardest part is done, you gotta repin these. Everybody's 
Alright, so it's fitting there really nice. Ah, ah, good. As you can see, it just barely touches right there. Bottoms out right there. Of course, I lifted it pretty high. But if you didn't have this ground out, this wouldn't work at all. Okay. No problem over here. So we're not quite done yet. Obviously you need to hook up your chains and airlines. And also you're gonna want to pull the rear axles uh, so that this thing can be um, pulled correctly. If you have airlines, of course you wouldn't have to cage your brakes, but if you're not hooking up those airlines, you just have one of these, a couple of chains, you're also gonna have to cage your brakes too. Of course, you're also going to want to follow that awesome guide, that TM that everyone just loves. You know, that thousand page or something like that, that is just so easy to find everything. Make sure you follow the directions that are in that TM. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm all done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, be safe out there and God bless.